Are you looking for on-the-spot AI-generated quiz questions? Well, with ClassPoint, you can present a slide and then get the AI to ask the students a question in your live class based on the content of your slide. You can even select the level of Bloom's taxonomy that you want the question to be developed based on. Then you can ask the AI to generate what it believes would be the correct response to the question. This allows you to have an in-class discussion comparing the student responses to the AI-generated response. So ClassPoint is powered by OpenAI, so think ChatGPT, and it has both a free and a paid version at about 150 Rand a month. So to get into it, the first thing you have to do is go to classpoint.io and download the ClassPoint software to your computer so that it opens up in PowerPoint as a ClassPoint tab. Once you've downloaded the ClassPoint software, you'll see a new tab appear at the top of your PowerPoint. So when you go into presentation mode, I've just opened up my blended learning defined and demystified presentation. And you can see at the bottom, it automatically pulls up a toolbar with various tools that you can use. But what we're really interested in is this AI quiz. When you start a class live presentation, at the top right hand corner, you will see a class code. So your students can log in on a browser or an app and just put the class code in and that way the live responses will be tallied. And as you present the slide, so here I'm demystifying blended learning. And once I finish presenting the slide, I want the AI to develop a question for me. So I click on the AI icon at the bottom of the slide, and you can see if I hover, it says AI quiz, and it opens up a new panel. It allows you to straight away develop a quiz question, but what I like to do is look at the options tool. So if you click into options, you can see it gives you a choice of the type of multiple, or the type of question you want to ask. So do you want a multiple choice question, a fill in the blanks or a short answer? And then it has the levels of Bloom's taxonomy. So you can tick or untick. And remember, when you're using a multiple choice question, it's probably going to be the lower levels of Bloom's taxonomy. Whereas when you're using the higher levels of Bloom's taxonomy, it's better to have a, a short response type of option. I've chosen my quiz language. So I'm going to leave it at those levels um, and then close that. When I now generate my quiz question, it applies those options. It tells me it's reading my slide. The AI generated question is, how can blended learning be applied effectively in a classroom setting? So I can decide whether this is the question that I want to ask the students. They can already see it on the screen. Um, or I could generate another question. Now that the top right hand corner says it's an applied question because it's giving me the level of Bloom's taxonomy. I get the students responses in and then I want to check the answer. So I'm going to click check answer and it gives us a suggested response. So this allows me the opportunity to have a discussion with the students as to whether they believe that this is a good, good response to the question or I could generate another applied question for them to look at. So let's generate a, a second question based on the same content. Okay, so the question is an analyze question. Analyze the benefits of incorporating multimedia rich content in blended learning activities. So I'm going to save as a slide and then it'll put this question into my slides. So let's see how you can use AI-generated quiz questions while you're presenting your content to your students. In the free version, you get 25 quiz question credits, and if you really enjoy it, then you can go ahead and get the paid version. But let us know how AI is helping you in the classroom, and we'll also bring you another app next week.